Hi there! Today I'm gonna show you how to set up your uh, sound iron, lakeside pipe organ uh, library enjoying its uh, monumental and realistic organ sound as well as very user-friendly interface uh, within Contact Player 6 uh, to be able uh, to play the famous Toccata and Fuga. Actually we are going to make different registrations or patches of it and uh, in the next tutorial put them all in a bank to be able to change them during our play exactly when needed without losing tempo. In my example the keyboard is uh, Yamaha Klaminova CLP120 uh, whose MIDI cable is plugged uh, in uh, Focusrite Scarlett 4i4 USB audio interface. Let's start. As first we are going to open our contact player and set up our MIDI input and audio output to be able to play via contact player. Uh, click the options button on the top of the player and uh, look for the MIDI tab on the bottom left. Click it and find your MIDI controller or keyboard and check if it is on or off. If it is off Click on OFF and on the menu list click the first available port. Then on the left click on the audio tab. Under driver choose ASIO. Under device find the driver of your audio interface and then click the ASIO configuration. A dialog from settings of your audio device will open. Set sample rate to 44,000 and the buffer size or block size or whatever you find there to 512. That will increase the latency a bit but don't worry about that. Close the device dialog and then close options. I have a full version of uh, contact uh, 642 and uh, didn't yet succeed to load Lakeside as a library because it is only possible through native access but uh, we can nonetheless load its instrument patches, banks or multis through the files browser or a quick load and uh, they are gonna work just as well as libraries. Uh, so just navigate to the Lakeside folder and find instruments, uh, custom FX presets. Down on the left we are going to use Cathedral Massive. So just uh, double click on it or uh, drag it uh, into the instrument window and it is loaded in seconds. On the top of the window check your output and uh, MIDI input. The most important part of its attractive interface are the presets or stops. Using only three different stops group we can do all we need. These are Octave Stops group, All Stops X Fade and All Stops Mixer. You have to know that Lakeside Pipe loads six main groups of samples to which those stops are referred. Uh, there is even more but it's not the point of uh, this very tutorial. Let's stay put to our goal. You just need to know that uh, Lakeside loads more than 1500 samples uh, so you must not play with samples. Just leave them as they are and don't let contact player to load them more than once in your final bank or multi. So let's create the first patch of our organ. The original massive cathedral is more or less exactly what we need to play the famous beginning of Toccata. <laughs> Just do a little modification to it. Under the preset All Stops Mixer, open Stop Mixer. Slightly move first four sliders up and last two down a bit. Now we are going to set up the convolution reverb, very important factor of organ sound. As first, click on the FX rack on the bottom of the instrument 
and you will see equalizer and reverb on the bottom of the rack. Under impulse uh, in the yellow field, choose the far D preset. To set up other properties and values, we'll go to contact settings because here there are no numbers. So you actually can't know what you are doing. Click the wrench symbol and uh, under insert FX division, we find on the left our equalizer and convolution reverb. Now double click convolution reverb to activate. The two most important properties of the reverb are low pass and high pass. They both limit the bandwidth of frequencies to be reverbed. We are going to make smart limits of it. For starters, let's set up the low pass to 340 Hz and high pass to 1.8 kHz. To increase the reverb, we have to lower the high pass value or increase the low pass or do it both and vice versa. Once satisfied with our settings, we have to save them. There is a little preset white letters menu on the left side. Open it and click Save Preset. Save it under the name, for example, Great, according to the Great Organ Manual. Now we can remove reverb and uh, equalizer from the FX rack. Uh, click the little triangle and uh, click Empty for both of them. Now return to contact by clicking wrench and in the insert effects division find another convolution symbol. Unbypass it by clicking the red B and double click to activate it. Now click the white preset and under user find your saved one. So your preset is loaded. You'll find the equalizer under the source division. Make your own setup of it. Uh, we have to do that procedure within every of our patches separately. Let's name it FX procedure. But next time, don't worry, it will be much easier because we have now our preset. The others will be just small modifications of it. Now save entire patch under the name Great. Now we are going to create uh, our next patch, our second. Uh, because uh, to play fast triolas in the third row of the first page, we have to create a patch of a slightly lighter sound and an octave higher. <laughs> So, just pull all sliders a bit down. We have to click on the instrument options. Instrument, MIDI transpose, to transpose it an octave higher. Uh, this number is actually a number of semitones to transpose the instrument. We are going to set it to 12. 12 semitones make, of course, an octave. A positive number means a higher interval and a negative a lower. Now uh, it is going to be much easier because we have our presets now. Load them and modify to make desired sound. Of course, save new presets under new names, respectively. Save the patch under the name uh, Swell to imitate the second organ manual. Now we are going to create the third patch, which is very similar to the first one. To play some other monumental but less robust parts of the toccata, we are just going to make an instance of our great patch with less reverberation. My values are 180 Hz for the low pass and uh, 1.2 kHz for the high. Don't forget to save your new FX presets under new names. 
Here is most important to, to set the number of voices in the upper part of the instrument interface. Increase it to 700. You will need that for, la for fast triolas of diminished chords. Save the patch under the name Grade 1. The fourth patch is a very important patch to play most of the fuga. It has to be significantly softer and octave higher than the grade. Here we can load our Zwell because it is already transposed as we need. This registration we are going to make from the fourth octave stop. Set up the knob on the lowest position. Here I have to explain that octave stop knob in default low left position give us an unison. Middle position adds lower octave and the high or right position adds both high and low octave. We don't need supplemental octaves here, just the single tone. So we uh, left it in its basic or left position. Of course, uh, make again your FX procedures according to your taste and uh, save the patch under the name of Fuga. The fifth patch. To play the middle part of the Fuga, we need something different. Kind of, I would call it angel dancing sound. Open our Fuga patch and uh, save it under the name Angels. Open the crossfade mix stop and set the slider position to 2. Here we are going to add some attack and release. So we will adjust respective knobs. The transposition is uh, still 12. Do your FX procedure and save. Now we are going to create our sixth patch. To play echo parts in the middle part of Fuga, we need higher tones. That means to set up transpose to 24 or 2 octaves. Actually, we need kind of bird singing voices and uh, make them from the third octave stop. Save the patch under the name Birds. Set the octave knob to the highest position to have two octaves more. Of course, do your FX procedure and save. And the final patch, seventh patch, uh, we need to play low echoes from the middle fuga part. And uh, we need a kind of a sound of a low flute. Open our Angels patch. It is already transposed as needed. Only change the octave stop to stop 1 and set the knob to the middle position. Save it under the name Low Flute, do your FX procedure and save. Now, we have finished creating our patches or registrations. For the next step or how to put them all together and play, follow me. Bye.